Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how I made this onion hair conditioner. The first step is to prepare onion water. I use red onion to prepare the onion water because in addition to the benefits it has for the hair and scalp, it has a less strong smell compared to white onion and it gives the conditioner a beautiful pink color. To prepare this onion water, we need two medium-sized organic red onions. Make sure you wash them well. After washing the onions, cut off the edges. Then remove the thin outer skin. Please do not throw it away as we need it in this formulation too. To prepare the onion water, I use the skin from two medium-sized onions and the flesh of one medium-sized onion that I cut to four halves. To prepare 160 grams of onion water, I use 180 grams of distilled water. Pour the distilled water into a pot. Place the pot on the stove and bring the water to boil. When the water is about to boil, add the sliced onion and onion skin to the pot and simmer on low heat for about one minute while mixing. After one minute, remove the pot from the stove and set it aside for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I filter it through a strainer, then through a cheesecloth. And here we have the onion water. The next step is to measure the amount we need to make the hair conditioner with. I am preparing a batch of 100 grams. Make sure you put the onion water in a heat resistant container. I add the glycerin to the onion water. I keep the beaker aside and prepare the oil phase. For the oil phase, I use my homemade onion oil. You can of course use any oil of your choice. If you wish to prepare this conditioner with onion oil, please check out my previous video where I show you how to prepare onion oil at home. I will leave the link to the video in the description box below. I pour the onion oil into a beaker. Add the shea butter to the oil. Add the BTMS 50 to the oil as well. I also add the cetyl alcohol to the oil. Then I place the beaker containing the water face and the beaker containing the oil face in a water bath and heat on low heat using the double boil method to about 70 degrees Celsius. When both faces are ready, I remove the beakers from the water bath. Then immediately pour the hot water face into the hot oil face. Mix for some seconds with a hand whisk. Then with an electric hand mixer until the mixture homogenizes. After mixing for about three minutes, I mix again with a hand whisk. Then I continue mixing with a spatula as the mixture thickens and cools down. When the temperature is about 40 degrees Celsius, I add in the heat sensitive ingredient. The first ingredient I add is vitamin E. Mix well. The next ingredient I add in this cooling phase is the preservative. After adding in the preservative, mix well so it blends with the rest of the ingredients. I mix with a spatula for about a minute or two. Then I test the pH value of the hair conditioner. To test the pH value, I add 2 grams of the hair conditioner to 8 grams of distilled water. Mix well. 
then dip my pH strip into the mixture for about 10 seconds. Remove it and see what the pH value is. As you can see, the pH value is around 6. For this conditioner to be effective for our hair and scalp, the pH should be around 5 and 5.5, so we need to lower it. To lower the pH value from 6 to around 5 and 5.5, I add a pinch of citric acid to the conditioner. Mix well. As you mix in the citric acid, you will notice the color of the hair conditioner change from a dull pink to a bright pink. Guys, what a beautiful color. I love it. After mixing in the citric acid, I test the pH value again. If you wish to obtain an accurate pH result, please make sure you use a digital pH meter. As you can see, we now have a pH value of 5, which is perfect. If you wish, you can add fragrance to the conditioner. Mine is without. After adjusting the pH, you can now store the conditioner in a clean sterilized container, seal it airtight, and store at room temperature away from direct sunlight. This leave-on conditioner can be used just like any other leave-on conditioner. You may be asking yourself if this conditioner smells of onion. With no fragrance added to it, the conditioner has a very mild onion scent. If this bothers you, you can simply replace the onion oil with another oil, such as jojoba oil, argan oil, avocado oil, or any other oil that suits your hair and scalp best. Guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. I would appreciate if you give the video a like, comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. I wish you a beautiful and fruitful day and hope to see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye and God bless you.